Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called The Duel Point of Honor. It's a two player competitive card game in which players are going to be playing as dueling automat automatonic auto machines. And you're going to be going back and forth fighting each other. Now, what's interesting is you're trying to gain honor, you're trying to do damage, and you're trying to secure upgrades. And every round, you're going to be getting more and more upgrades. The more prestige you get, the better it is, the more likely it is you're going to be winning the game. You're going to go throughout a certain amount of rounds, and at the end of all of those rounds, whoever has the most prestige at the end is the winner. Let's go ahead and take a look at the game, The Duel. Point of Honor. So here we have the dual Point of Honor, and I went ahead and set up the game already. You're gonna have damage tokens here. These are going to be your prestige tokens. You need to get seven before your opponent can to win the game. And these are called upgrades. These over here are going to be your main starting hand. There's 16 cards total, and you're gonna shuffle them up and deal eight cards to each player. You got the rule book over here, and I imagine a box will be included. In the beginning of the game, you're gonna look at your hand here, and you have a bunch of different types of cards. Each player is gonna separate these cards out uh, secretly. Don't show your opponent they're going to be in your hand and then you get to choose to discard one whatever one you don't think you're going to need is going to be discarded and it's going to be removed from the game it's no longer being going to be enacted you can't use it for the rest of the game and that should leave you with seven cards after which you're going to take your cards into your hand and simply play them out uh, in the round the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to play a card face down for timing now timing is important uh, let's say these cards got put down there they're going to be put down face down one from each hand the person who has the lowest timing is the person who's going to get to go first in the round. So, this is a 1 and this is a 2, and that is all that is looked at during the timing section of the round. So, when they get played face down, they're going to flip them face up to see what happens. Okay, this player got a 1, this had a 2, so this player is going to get to go first. And you can choose to play any of the cards in their hand. Now, there's different cards you can choose to play. You've got Tactics, you've got Fast, you've got Attacks, and then, of course, you have Reposts, too, which are um, handy. They're somewhere in here. Um, now the idea is when you play a card it's going to either attack your opponent, it's going to remove damage from yourself, or it'll do something in that sort of sense. So I will go ahead and play a thrust card. Now when I play that card it has an attack of 2 damage, and then my opponent will have an opportunity to play a card. And the reason why he doesn't take 2 damage instantly is because he could choose to play a card that can counter the card, or simply remove the attack. Okay, so we have this one here that will change our timing. Uh, look at your opponent's hand, attack one damage. Let's go with, yeah, we'll go with this one right here. So he's played that. Now both players have played a card from their hand uh, after the timing step, and he's got a fast, which means he's going to look at the opponent's hand. So he gets to look at my hand and see what's in it, and then he's going to initiate his attack along with mine. Now I'll do two damage to him, and he'll do one damage to me, and these cards will get discarded. They just go over here. The timing cards will stay out, and we're going to do three rounds of timing. So another timing round is going to ensue. You're going to choose another card, put it face down, and so will your opponent. Your opponent will put down his one as well, maybe this one here, and then we're going to flip over again to see what happens. Okay, I got a 1, he got a 3, which means I get to go ahead and attack first once more. I will choose to play this one here. That is my Zorn Hyo, okay? And he's going to go ahead and select one as well. Uh, he'll play this one as well. It's a good choice. Uh, fast means your opponent receives one damage as long as you have one damage. We'll both get to do that. And then attack, it'll do one damage a piece to each of us. Okay, then that is going to be discarded. And we'll move on to the last timing step of the game in which you'll play, maybe play this one right here. And this guy will play one as well. And then we're going to flip over. He got a two, I got a six. <laughs> That's a big one for me. So he gets to go first now. Final round. He will go ahead and play this one here. What's it say? Look at your opponent's hand. Uh, attack for one damage. And I will go ahead and play this one. Fast. Discard an attack card that targets you. So we get to look at my hand. And then I'm going to get to remove his card. So it'll stop him from damaging me. And I will hit him for one more damage. After that is done, the cards will once again get discarded. And we're going to leave left with these guys here. Now, based on damage, it's how you're going to get prestige. And if it's two or more, you're going to get two prestige. So this guy, I think, is going to get two because he has five against three. And uh, these will get removed. And then we're going to gain points based on whoever has the lowest time. You're going to add up all these, add up all these, and whoever has the lowest is going to get it. Six, seven, eight, five, six, seven. So he has got the higher one, he's got the lower one. Lowest timing is going to get two points. And then, of course, you're going to look at the damage. You're going to have damage, and uh, based on the amount of damage, you're going to have to draw these cards here. And these cards are special advanced actions. Basically, you're learning from your mistakes, and you're going to get up to pick one of the cards and put it into your hand. So we're going to have to go ahead and set these aside. These are our ones we get to learn from. The rest of these cards are going to get shuffled into the deck, 
And then we're going to go ahead and go through another round. We'll be doing three phases of this, or actually whoever hits us up to seven, whoever hits seven prestige. After that, we're gonna go ahead once again, deal out our cards to each player. And um, then at this point, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight apiece. Then they, once again, will get to choose a card in their hand to discard forever, it'll go away forever. And the next round is going to begin. And once again, we'll do the timing three times as well as the attacking three times. At one point, eventually, somebody is going to get seven victory points. As long as your opponent doesn't have seven victory points, you're going to win the game. However, if he also ends up getting seven victory points, then you're going to play until somebody has more than the other player, maybe another round. And that's the basic idea of the game. These all come with different advanced ones here. Dishonor your opponent. Pistols. Rapido. Faint, Spite, Sabers, uh, opponent receives one damage, swap a card with any other timing card, so on and so forth. But that's the basic idea of the game, the dual point of honor. Let's come up and talk about it. So a couple caveats before we get into the review. The first thing is you're only gonna discard a card from your hand if you have eight cards in your hand at the beginning of the round. If you have seven, you keep it. You're always gonna have seven every single round. And the way you're gonna gain cards is by taking damage. If you don't take damage, you're not going to gain any of the advanced cards in the deck. So you won't have to worry about discarding. Uh, not only that, but in timing aspects, if you are at the same time as your opponent, you both are going to get no prestige. And uh, points for prestige are based on how much damage you take. If it's the same amount, you both get a prestige. If you both don't take any, you get a prestige. And if it's, you take two or more damage in your opponent, your opponent will get two prestige. Let's talk about some of the advanced cards. We have Spite here. Fast, an opponent receives the damage. If they have more prestige than you, attack one damage. Uh, fast, choose an attack. Uh, opponent receives two damage. If they don't discard a card of that type, plus an additional damage. Rapido, target copy the effect of a timing card you played for this duel. Uh, opponent receives one damage, swap this card with any timing card. Opponent loses a prestige, you gain a prestige, so on and so forth. And so those are the basic aspects of the different cards in the game. There might be more, there might be less, you can check the Kickstarter campaign to see. Now, let's go ahead and talk about a couple cards. First of all, uh, this Dishonor opponent says you your opponent loses one prestige and you gain one. That is so powerful. I think that's the only thing I'm like, if you on this game with is this powerful card here because you can technically take away one and gain one which is basically like gaining two prestige just on a singular card which is enough for timing so this card here is pretty powerful now there are powerful cards in this game as far as the advanced cards go but uh, that one specifically comes back and forth with me however the game itself is super fun I love the timing aspects of the game I like being able to choose when I want to make my fast attacks or maybe I want to make my timing slower at uh, the cost of being able to counter my opponent's attack but at the same time I'm gonna lose out on those prestige points at the end of the round if I don't have less uh, timing than my opponent. There's also cards in the deck that allow you to re change your timing. Well, why would you want to do that if you've already attacked? Well, that's because, like I said, at the end of the round, you're going to gain these points. Switching around cards in your hand, putting them on the timing, even though you wanted to uh, attack second, that will give you the opportunity to gain prestige in one way and another way all at the same time. Uh, the artwork's fine. It reminds me of little automatons learning how to basically function in a duel. And the theme actually comes out in this game because as you're playing and as you're growing, you're learning better attacks, you're learning from your mistakes, and you're trying to uh, succeed where um, your opponent has succeeded in the past. And not only that, though, but your opponent has the ability to learn the moves you have learned based on the fact that every round you're going to be shuffling all the cards together minus the cards that you have learned and giving your opponent the chance to gain those cards. So it kind of does balance it out. Even if I think the card is a little bit overpowered, it balances that to the point where it didn't make a difference in the games we played. Uh, overall, the, the dual point of honor is a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. I think it's a nice micro card game and it gets the point across very well. It's very easy to understand and I think a lot of tactical players are going to really enjoy it. Go ahead and check out in the description below if it sounds like something that you would like to uh, back.